Ms. Rang's life. I'm wearing this garment just to look at from Ron last August when I was here. I met Ron in um, 1993, and I was living in Miami. At the time, I was still figuring out what I want in life. And a discussion, I'm a, I'm a friend, Ron is Catholic. The convers our conversation started about abortion, and that led to many discussions and also social justice. And Ron has been, I'm very grateful to have Ron in my life. Ron has encouraged me to go back to school. Ron has encouraged me to undergrad, to grad school. Today I'm a proud social worker, all because of Ron doing and support. Ron has met my family in Brooklyn, New York. Ron has visited us twice. I have come to London, knowing London, going to in England, but you realize there was a London in Canada. And I've enjoyed your city, a beautiful city. I cherish the moments with Ron during the summer, summer fest, and coming to King's to those uh, mass where donuts, uh, what is it called, um, orange donut, which I find is very um, delicious, <laughs> that, and where we have in the States. But Ron has taught me a lot of stuff. He had also reinforced my belief in my African heritage. At my house, I'm sort of creating a little mini African um, collection of painting and music, all from Ron. Ron has shared one moment what it means to be black in America, where he have lived in Chicago in a housing project, and realized that people are marginalized and suffering people of African suffer in, in, in America. We have talked, we have had many discussions, many nights, being at what the mistake America has um, last year in um, 2016. After we have run of introduced me to PBS, um, all this discussion from MSM, MS, uh, Red of Modoc Show, we'll have conversation on the phone over 12, going on 12 o'clock and back and forth. But Ron been always there. He's a, a person of truth. He's a different priest. I wish he was an Anglican priest. I always state that to him, but he <laughs> believed he believed in his Catholic uh, upbringing. I was privileged to meet his children, Marcelo, Manuel, and Judene, and his grandchildren, and meet some of you people. But Ron was a human being that loved and support the struggle of people who are marginalized. And I think that's what he brought in his um, discussion during his sermon. I'm very grateful to have known Ron for the last 20 plus years. And it's very hard on that Wednesday, it's so fitting, Dr. King's anniversary that Ron gone to meet the greats with Malcolm X and the rest, that I was on the train, the number two train coming from work and Doris broke the news to me. That was a sad day for me, i never forget that day. I still recover and I'm still thinking every day. You can't believe Ron is no longer here. I miss to cherish those moments when I arrived in London at the Robert Chute train station. Ron was open arm. Oh, Peter! I'm glad you're here. And his sandals and his warm welcome. I guess that's part of how people welcome people in London, Ontario. But Ron is a great ambassador to you guys. Doris, I was happy to have you as a friend. Doris is going to be my big sister right now, and I'm going to be your brother. As Ron was one of one wishes before. The last time I met with Ron was um, in February, and it was failing. And I subsequently have conversation, and, and I was in touch with uh, Anand and his health issue. But I say there's no human being I ever come across like Ron Trojak, and it will be surely missed. Thank you. <laughs>